something about the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I found that he's a, he's a friend who's someone who's there when the good times are. Do I have any witnesses? Amen. First of all, let's, let's give, let me give honor with honors due to our mayor. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And to you, amen. And Lottie, Donnie, and anybody. Amen. <laughs> amen. If you don't mind, grab somebody by the hand and say, neighbor, amen. I got 10 things to give God praise for. Amen. Number one, he woke me up this morning. Number two, he woke me up this morning. Number three, he woke me up this morning. Number three, Number four, he woke me up this morning. Number five, he woke me up this morning. Number six, he formed me from the dust of the ground. Number seven, he saved my soul. Number eight, he's still keeping me. Number nine, He's still providing for me. Number 10, he never left me. That's enough to give God some praise. The world don't think no evil. Don't have a witness. I don't rejoice that my enemies get what they deserve. The world rejoices not in iniquity, but it rejoices in the truth. Bear of all things. Believe in all things. Hope is all things. Endure of all things. Love never fails. But where there's poverty, they shall fail. Whether they be tongue, they shall see. But whether they be knowledge, they shall vanish away. But love will stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, tell your name. I, I, don't know, I may not know you, but I got love for you. I know you well, have a Come on, tell your name. I say, name, I may not know you. I may not know but you. But I got love for you. But I got love. And by this, by this, you, by this you know you're my disciples if you love one another. It's not a white or black thing or spanish or that. It's all about Jesus. And listen, love is not conceited. Yeah. <laughs> love is not arrogant and faded with pride. Yeah. But in order for Martin Luther King to go over when he went through it, he had to have somebody greater in him. Yeah. Yeah. But somebody calling you all kinds of names and throwing rocks at you and talking about your family and trying to kill you, somebody that's in him was, was making it act right. Yeah. Love is not rude. Come on, I forgive you. I forgive you. I know what you did, but I still forgive you. Amen. Love is not love is not unmanly. And it's not, it does not act unbecomingly. God loves us. God, it does not insist on his own way. Our kind of love is different from the love out there. Do I, did I lose anybody? Our love, for Christian love is different from the world love. The, the world says, I love you because of what I can do for you. Yeah. Christians love it even though people try to do you wrong. Yeah. They did Martin Luther King wrong, but he said, Listen, I still love you. Yeah. <laughs> do we have a witness? Yeah. Look, it's not self seeking. Yeah. It's not touchy or fretful or resentful. It takes no account of the evil done to it, it pays no attention to the wrong people did. Yeah. Come on, tell you that I, I know somebody did me wrong right here, right now. But I'm not going to hold it against them. Do I have a witness? And listen, when you walk in forgiveness, hello church, love, forgiveness, you, you, listen, listen, forgiveness does not exonerate the perpetrator. It does not justify their behavior. Forgiveness is a gift for you. You, you give yourself, you give, forgiveness is a gift for you. You give yourself you say, I'm not going to let this take over me. Because unforgiveness will kill you. Unforgiveness will have you having cancer. Oh, that's right. Amen. 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 I'm not going to let this thing take over me. I'm feeling better than that. <laughs> yes, people talked about me. Yes, people did me wrong. But I'm a forgiver. <laughs> I'm going to disconnect from it because I 
in control and not them in control. <laughs> Look at my brother here. He did, he did me wrong 10 years ago. <laughs> and he walking around looking just as good. Still happy, Brother Cooper, very happy. And here I am, still hold on. And Brother Isaac, I, I just get out of the hospital. What's wrong with me? They say they don't, know, they don't know what's wrong with me. I got cancer, I got diabetes. And the doctor said, listen, what's wrong with you? I can't find nothing medically wrong with you. Wow. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow. Did some, are you holding somebody in your heart? Yes. Wow. Listen, whoever you got in your heart, let it go. Yes. And as soon as I let it go, oh, I'm free. As soon as you let your unforgiveness go, I'm free to free people in here. Yeah. Don't have any free people in here. Yeah. <laughs> when you release, when you when, when you rehearse all those things that people did to you, you get power to it. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to embrace what happened to me 10 years ago. I'm going to embrace it right now. They didn't kill me, I'm still here. Do I have 15 witnesses? Well, Martha, you the boss of the case, and listen, well, I don't know what's going to happen now. We got some difficult days ahead of us, but it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. And I don't mind like anybody else. I would love to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that. I just want to do God's will. And he allowed me to go to the mountain. And I look over and I see the promised land. I may not get there with them, but I want you to know right now that we as a people, not black people, not white people, but all of us, we're all going to get that together. We're going to get that together. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. And you think you're going through something? You think Martin Luther King went through something? Think about Jesus. Jesus suffered. They took his robe off of him. They took a whip. Planted it with pieces of metal, pieces of dry bones, pieces of glass, and they whipped him unrecognizable. That's it, that's it. Yes. And every time they would hear our Lord and Savior, every time they whip, he got him in the back and he would pull off flesh. Yes. It would take pieces of flesh off his body. Yes. And the thing that disturbed me most, every time they whipped him, it was a whip for me. Yes. Come on, somebody died. Somebody got up. Somebody went to hell for you and for me. That's enough to give God some praise. He took my place. That's why we ain't got time to come and acting on cue. It's not about you. It's not about your jobs. Because one day you got to meet God for yourself. And when I got up this morning, I had to dress his earth suit. I had to bathe his earth suit. I had to put the oil on his earth suit. I had to wash his earth suit. Then I had to put some clothes on his earth suit. I had to put some cologne on his earth suit. I had to dye his gray hair. But, but, I, but I, it's, it's gonna fade away one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All of us in here, somebody made us. Since he was here before we got here, we ought to raise your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And listen, whatever you do, don't stop coming to church. Whatever you do, don't stop giving God the praise. 
No matter what you're going through, God, your God counts your back. As long as you know you're in his arms. Do I have a witness? And on my way to the seat, I, I, I was just thinking about my son. I, I was just saying, it said that a mother went to a huge shopping mall. And she had a little son with her. And the mama got to shopping for things all at the store. And a little boy went to the toy section. She went to the dress section. The boy went to the toy section. They got to shopping. And after a while, when the, when the time came for the little meat, they got lost. And she said, where's my little boy? I can't find my little boy. And, and so the store owner said, I got to close the store. So the mama went on home. She prayed, said, hoping that somebody would find her son. So she went on home. But there was a police officer walking through the mall, looking through the windows. And he saw this little boy. He says, wait a minute, son. He got the store owner, opened up the store. He said, young man, are you lost? He said, yes, sir. He said, well, what's son, where do you live? I, I don't know. What's your phone number so I can call your parents? He said, I don't know. He said, the police officer said, listen, I'm trying to find a landmark to where I can get you home. And the little boy said, wait, wait a minute, Mr. 